Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And this is to talk about the bug fixing C updates that were released yesterday, August 26th, 2022 for Windows 10. So yes, they arrived finally. Um, when you go to Windows updates, they're optional. So you go to your settings and you go to update and security. And there it's going to actually ask you, it's going to find them, but it's going to ask you to install them manually as it uh, is, of course, not uh, mandatory. Uh, of course, the optional is, like we say, kind of a very short optional because when the Patch Tuesday updates will arrive, they will install this update too. So the update uh, is for Windows 10 21H2. Uh, 21H1 and uh, 22H2, of course, if you are on 22H2. So 21H1, 21H2, and 22H2, if you are there. I'm on 22H2. Uh, the update is, and we're going to check it out here, KB. Uh, let me get down. This is the quality updates. The optional updates are here. There we go. KB5016688, which you see here. So this is the cumulative update preview for Windows 10 version 21H1, 21H2, and 22H2. So this will, of course, bring your version to, once it's installed, type Winver for Windows version, and you will be at either 19043, 19044, or if you've moved to 22H2 like me, 20, 19045. The ending is 1949. You should be at 1949. If you're below 1949, then there's some updates that are missing. So 1949 is the update. Uh, what's in here and what does it fix? Uh, the main fixes that it actually brings is one that some users were having where like, some games would not install when they had a kind of a DRM licensing issue so that would in make the the uh, the game uh, install fail actually they also address a error that gives you a 0x1e when you shut down or restart a device a PC so some people were seeing a blue screen and also they are addressing a Microsoft Edge freezing issue when you actually were using Internet Explorer or IE mode so uh, these are the main highlights, basically, of what it fixes. A few other things like, um, you know, the color uh, icon colors and the list um, when you search for apps and um, the um, an issue would cause a subscription activation fail under certain conditions, stuff like that. But in general, um, things are okay. It uh, pretty much fixes a few of these little things. So if you have uh, some problems, you might want to actually install this and see what it, if it fixes your issue. Um, if you don't have any problems, you can just leave it alone and, um, you know, it's going to install in a way with Patch Tuesday eventually. And regarding a question that I had about the length between the release into the insiders for testing and when they come out, um, someone was asking if the fact that it takes longer on some to they are tested, you know, more than others if it's an issue that maybe it would have or they maybe seen something i don't think so i think it just goes with uh, maybe the type of fixes that they have to make sure that the fixes actually do work but um this is uh, basically what's happening uh with this so um there's no real you know relation between um, the length of time that they've been tested and maybe problems that could arise uh, eventually. So check it out if you have issues on Windows 10. And of course, there was also the Windows 11 C-band updates this week. So you can check that out if you have problems on Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.